I'm getting ready to cut out the top and the bottom piece out of the sheet of MDF. So what I'm going to have you do is use a circular saw and a fence to make a nice straight cut across here to get your width of six and a half inches. So I've got a framing square here and if I put it on my square end, I marked off six and a half inches and now I'll just keep the square tight to the edge and I'm going to draw that line all the way across here. But just following this line with the circular saw isn't always very easy. So what we're going to do is set up this fence here to help guide me. I need to know where to position my fence. To figure out how far to position the fence away from your cut, I need to know how far it is from the base over to the outside edge of my blade. So when I flip my saw over, I can measure from this side of the blade and from this side of the blade over to my edge here. Whatever that measurement is, add it on to your six and a half inches. So that's what I did. I made a mark right there for the additional distance from the edge of my base there to the blade. That's going to go right here. you draw a nice square line. Should be tight right here. So now I know where I need to position my fence. You can make a fence out of any kind of material really as long as it's not too soft and the edge is nice and straight and you can clamp it down. These orange clamps have a lot more holding power than the quick grip clamps. So I'm going to put these clamps on the back side of my fence because I don't want them getting in the way of my saw when I come through here. So I've got one on this side, one on this side. There we go. So it's real tight, my edge follows my line, it's nice and straight the whole way across. Now we need to adjust the depth of cut on our circular saw. So I'm going to loosen up that clamp Drop the blade guide down. And lock it back in place. So now my blade is gonna cut just through there. So I've got one, one tooth here sticking out past the bottom of my board. If I look, it's not gonna hit any of the clamps as I cut through here. So I can plug it in, keep it tight to the fence. I'm gonna make my cut. There we go. Now this piece should be six and a half inches wide. And I can uh, take it to the miter saw and cut it down to six and a half inches square and get two of them out of this piece.